and there, and hey, up here. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Yeah, very... yeah. It does not like the human skeleton at all. I wonder what happened to the few test subjects of the first to try that. Probably jelly blobs on the floor. You know, muscle and flesh, blood veins, and all that. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your, or your heart, heart stopping, stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. I like him. In a sort of weird way, I like him. Just because of the humor. Small amount of humor that he has. There it is. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> That's a puzzle job. That's where to go. Okay. What's that? Oh, yeah. And doing, and it also carries momentum. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it, so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. I uh, would not like to be these people. Seriously. A paint. It's the type of paint that makes that uh, that makes a surface which allows you to put a portal on. That's it's fun. You can literally put a portal on every surface as long as it's covered by the paint. It's really nice. Oh, this block. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Yeah, not too reassuring. Look, I need to get covered in the repulsion gel. It's not killing me. This is the water, so I'll just clean. Propulsion gel away. See? When you hit that. Actually, it gives you lots of time before it starts boring. I like this one. 
All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out I like this, I like entirely. Things. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Look at that. Pretty cool, eh? Now, oh, oh, this part. Even on my second go, it took me a while. <laughs> Don't know why, to be honest. I just.